Yeah. Tell me what you know. I'm telling you. Yeah. How do you like that? I like it. I like it a lot. I don't give a. Fuck. What? Hello my friends and welcome back to Marshall at the Movies. As today I'm in TV land though, for alliterative purposes I'll begrudgingly reveal that my middle name is Toby. Welcome then to Toby on the telly. This week on Zavi, yes I really wanna, yes I really wanna taste it. It's Peacemaker, the complete first season. Now Peacemaker's a show that was conceived and written by filmmaker James Gunn, partly to pass the time during lockdown, but also because he'd come to realize while shooting the Suicide Squad that beyond John Cena's physical prowess and comedic chops, he could make it with the drama too, and deserved a longer form television showcase for his talents. If you stuck around for the post credits tease at the end of the Suicide Squad, you'll remember that Peacemaker, aka Christopher Smith, survived being shot in the head by Bloodsport. And as Chris's glorious spin-off show commences, he's shrugged off his coma, and though suffering from an inconvenient case of humanity, is pressed back into action with a ragtag off the books new squad. And their mission? To go save the frickin' world. Joining Chris on his quest, we meet Mern, his gruff and secretive boss, played by Shakudi Awuji. Harcourt, his kick-ass but detached handler, played by Jennifer Holland. Adebayo, played by Daniel Brooks, who's new to the espionage game and prone to oversharing. Steve Agee, meanwhile, plays John Economos, the gang's tech nerd, a man whose vast outer awkwardness masks fathomless depths of inner awkwardness. And Vigilante, played by Freddie Stromer, a guy who struggles with tough stuff like humour and empathy, but to his credit is the Mozart of murder. What a freak show you think at first. God, I love these characters you decide a couple of hours in. Gunn does it again then, as he did with the Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy before all that. Just takes a big bowl of freaks and cooks them up into a delicious family stew. So the show has heart, yeah? And at the same time, it's rude, irreverent, actually caustically funny, and violent, so bloody. But then sweet, there are moments that sneak up on you, get you right here. So it's a roller coaster for sure, with an incredible cast who just ace their characters, all of whom I'd watch in spin-off shows of their own. Enjoy.